Thanks for listening to our daily devotional. The lesson today is, it's everywhere. You know, I can remember whenever our children were little, we'd feed them various things, and one of the things I hated to give them was cream of wheat. Little bitty grains. And you give them a little bowl, maybe half a cup, and before long, it's all over them. It looked like you began with about four quarts. It seemed to go everywhere. Whenever I think of the term leaven, I think about that. How it just starts out and it just grows and grows and grows. And everyone who bakes knows you put a little leaven in and then it goes through it. It fills the whole of that which it is part of. Well, in the book of Luke, uh, the uh, reading yesterday in Luke, the 12th chapter, we find that uh, the Lord began to say unto his disciples, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. You think about that, the idea of hypocrisy, play acting, in other words, not being sincere. And uh, that seemed to be the besetting sin of the Pharisees. They professed to be following God, religious, concerned with the things of God and rejecting the things of the world. But their lives showed something far different. You know, within, they had this desire to please self, to follow the traditions of the fathers rather than the things of God. And it seemed that that was something that the word word hypocrisy deals with and to beware of it because of the leaven that it is. And he says it just grows. It becomes something that takes over one's life. Well, sadly, a lot of people today in the religious realm, they profess to be following God. You know, in our reading in Matthew 7 a while back, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. And there were those who'd say, you know, we've done many wonderful works. In other words, they were able to, in their mind, in their heart, pick and choose what they thought was important. And Jesus said, I never knew you. You see, they had within themselves that leaven of hypocrisy, that they could decide themselves what was important. We can fall into that trap if we're not careful. It can begin with salvation. You know, I don't see the necessity of. And you take any aspect of becoming a child of God, whether it be hearing, believing, repenting, confessing, being baptized, which one are we going to reject? And how hypocritical are we when we do that? And if that's the beginning of our supposed life with God, where is it going to lead? We need to beware of that leaven of hypocrisy. It simply grows. Once I get in my high, my heart, my mind, that I can pick and choose what I want to do in regards to God's will, I'm hypocritical. And it will grow, the Lord warned. So let's determine that we will surrender ourselves, our lives, to God. The Apostle Paul in Galatians 2 and verse 20, speaking of his conversion, he said, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. How much do you think Paul held back of his own will instead of God's? The answer, of course, is nothing. What about my life? Thanks for listening. You and I will have a great day if we avoid that leaven of hypocrisy. Thank you again for joining us in this Bible study. We remind you, if you'd like to follow along in our daily Bible reading, the link below in the description of this video will give you the PDF so you can read right along with us. If you have any other questions or if you'd like information on a Bible study, Contact us with the information provided on the screen before you.